Perhaps I ought to tell you the complete tale. This happened some 20 years ago. Not enough exposition here, and you get the complete tale. Prince Kurth had an affair with the Duchess of Volthomer. A truly lovely woman, as I recall. Duke Victor of Volthomer was, well, he was a philanderer in that of the worst degree. Indeed. I can't scarcely imagine what this was the like for him. Prince, of course, is nothing like him. And only well, the age of seven. The Duchess of well, and yet but the two were sorry for the prince, not to mention the sequence. Victor of the Swatch. Oh my, my prince, of course, prince, of course and not sure of him. The only one who was a philanderer in that of the worst degree. Indeed. for him. Please don't worry about the story. <laughs> Press F for castle. Yeah, this uh, I just learned how to swap between castles, guys. Very, well done. I'm very proud of I'm, myself. I'm very proud of you too. So uh, That's the about to say that. So we uh we let Madeir Wait, what are you doing with him? I don't know. We're, we're, we're returning him, I guess? I, mean, I guess, yeah. I think we're returning him. So, I feel like I, the first person to return should be Sigurd, but I don't know. Maybe oh! Not. Oh, yes! For sure. No, yeah, we want to return Sigurd. Mm -hmm. Sigurd. <laughs> Sigurd. <laughs> Sigurd. <laughs> Alright. Things gonna happen now. Mm. Du, 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 you can't be du, du, serious. Du, du. They come as far as Anthony? Are they just going to keep going until all of Augusta is theirs? They'll have to come this way, and we've no choice but to fight. Deploy the ballista! Or all the stands between the capital and Grand Rail's dogs of war. Yeah, Very we're, convenient to place castle, I guess. We're the douchebags, obviously. King Chagall, with all due respect, may we begin already? I need to find Prince Levin as quickly as possible. You said you know his location. <laughs> Aaron wants to know your location. <laughs> That's the only reason I'm here. Apologies for the late night, but I just received a word of lead of a lead for you. I trust you've noticed that we're currently contending with a Grand Valian invasion, and you've taken Prince Levin captive. My scouts report that their army is arresting and executing anyone and anything which stands in their way. Your prince is being held in Evans Castle. Reports say that he is soon to face the axe. No, I can't allow this. Thank you for your assistance. We'll leave them to rescue him at once. Our queen, Rana, cautioned us against clashing with other nations on our mission, but we have no choice. Should Granville troops cross our way, they'll be confronted without hesitation. Oh-ho! This is even better than I'd hoped. Best of luck in your hunt. Maybe you want to wait until she leaves before you say that, you all. I'll be on my way, then. Uh, I think he's, like, he's saying he's lucky that he has her assistance or something. All right. This is this is when he gets a real, like, evil talk, like, ha ha ha, stupid girl. She's gone. <laughs> stupid little girl. Ready the Augustine Knights to deploy. End those pigs on a single strike. Oh no, don't send armor knights at us. He's also sending cavalry. Yeah. He knows He knows it before. <laughs> I mean, I'd rather have the armor knights in front of the castle than cavaliers. The armor knights are super buff. Yeah. So now we want to make sure that Beowulf gets slept by Clement, if at all possible. Yeah, Beowulf or do. Yeah. So these guys are actually going to go away. They'll... What happens? I think if they take the Ruckus' castle, they just destroy it, right? Uh, it turns red. No, yeah, this yeah, they, yeah, sorry. I mean, they, they, they turn it red. And if we take it over, it com becomes green again, right? Yeah, I mean, I think you might get extra gold from it. Because I think at the end of the chapter, they count the number of blue casts you got. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. You get a thousand for each on each unit. Which could be nice, but it's a, probably a bit too annoying to do. Probably, yeah. Alright, so Finn and Quan can go that way. Mm -hmm. And uh, Lewin, uh, I think we're returning him, probably. Yeah, you might have to at this point. I think so, yeah. There we go, and Sylvia, I guess she goes this way after Lewin. Would have been nice to dance with her. I could move Lewin so that he can get danced for her next turn. And then we're gonna start sending Ira and Lex down here as well, right? So they can get... they can fall in love. Yeah, I like that. They're, this probably means Ira's not gonna do anything for the rest of the chapter. Probably not. So we want to return Sigurd then, for sure. I think so. I mean... He's probably the best at fighting these guys. Maybe he return actually one of the Cavaliers first and have Sigurd walk. You think so? You think he can make Either it Either or, or return next turn. Like, the thing is, uh, the Cavaliers that are coming towards you now are kind of weak, so it could be nice for Noah or Alec to kill. That is, yeah, that is a point. Uh, we could, um... <laughs> That's not even a good point, it's just a point. It's just a point, yeah. I mean, I guess, I guess we, can, we can return Noish and we yeah, can... Yeah, heal with Ideen. Yeah, yeah, heal with Ideen and then, yeah, sure, I like that. Let's do that. 
We want to, I mean, this. we also need to keep in mind that we want to return as many people as possible with Ethelin to maximize her experience gains before she returns home to the castle. Absolutely. Uh, hmm. It might also be nice to just start moving with all these guys. Do you have to stay at this castle? No. For any reason? No, not. If you move down, you gain the option of just walking there instead of returning. No, I could do that for sure. Yeah. Uh, you return I want. You yeah, want. no, I want to intersect with Levin as well, so. Yeah. This That's is, uh, yeah, and then I can, yeah, I could do that. I just don't want to steal. I don't want to. I think Colin might have a higher priority than Lex. I'm not sure, though. Uh, there's no jealousy or anything between males. It's just between females. As yeah. far as I know. So, how's Madeira doing on the arena? It's level 7. Should we try it? Nah, it doesn't matter. I mean, it could try. You might get a you crit. Could. Why not? I think this is the fight where he, like, needs to dodge and then crit or something. Yeah, against Marilyn, the sniper. I mean, it could could happen. You never know. Let's just give it a try. Yeah, this is gonna be hard. He oh. exactly gets killed in one hit. Nice oh, wow. One. Yeah. Nice HP. Yeah. Wah, wah, wah. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> you went and lost, did ya? <laughs> Alright. And then, I mean... No, wait. We were holding off with Alec, weren't we? I don't think he's gone into the arena yet. Is, is he gonna get the Paragon? I don't think he's gonna get it this turn. Unless we dump money on him with Dew, maybe? Which is a possibility. Well, it is. If Dew can get to him in time. So you think it's uh, it's worth it to hold off Arena for now, just in is, case? Is Dew getting all these, those villages? Not all of them. Beowulf is getting the lower well, one. But, but enough to get him there, right? Alec. Oh, for sure, I think. Alec has... Yeah, it's 20, he's like 20, 20, he has 26,000, yeah. so we could do oh, that. Yeah. If there's not another character we'd like to dump that money on. But Alec might be one of those who needs it the most. Mm -hmm. It's only level 11. Yeah, I think he needs a Paragon Ring, for yeah. sure. Then we'll hold up with him. Uh, we're not pairing Alec up with anyone, are we? No, we're not. Well, yeah, I guess once you return Dew, you can have him give the money to Alec at that point. Yeah. That's all right, guys. All right, this. guys. All oh, right, all my right, favorite right. event in the game. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Actually, one of my favorite tracks from Fire Emblem 4. Yeah. <sighs> I don't get it. No matter how hard I train or how strong I get, I'm still the butt of every joke around here. Maybe if I were more like Alec with how I can attack twice, that'd be all I need to get a bit of respect, dude. If you want to look up to anyone, you don't want to choose Alec. <laughs> That'd be all I need to get a bit of respect, me thinks, and maybe a cute lash while I'm at it. <laughs> but I'm still just me. Back to the old grind, I suppose. Hang on, what's this little ring thing? Ooh, maybe it's one of those magical ones I keep hearing about. That'd be grand, wouldn't it? Let's try her on. Hmm, what's this power I'm feeling? Is this what Alec feels like all the time? <laughs> the power of pursuit? Oh, why did they take away the power of pursuit? Not Only right. because it was them there to begin with. <laughs> I know, but they kept the I like it rough line in, clearly for me, so why couldn't they do the power of pursuit? I don't know. Maybe that one was more accurate, I don't know. Maybe. I mean, I haven't read the Japanese script, so I'm not going to claim that I know what they actually say. Uh, so yeah, he gets a Pursuit Ban, and uh, I mean, it's not gonna matter a whole lot. I mean, he does have a sword, so he is faster than some enemies, but... I mean, Arden has an effective speed of 2. I mean, against enemies in the arena with negative speed, he can double them, I guess. Yeah, I mean, Hero Sword plus Pursuit Ban is pretty good. Oh yeah, yeah, I think he can actually get pretty far into the arena next chapter, once we give him the, yeah. the Brave Sword. And, um, yes, yeah, so we probably want to keep it on him a little bit then, right? Yeah, I think so. Alright. So, because you're, like, you're setting up kills for Noish anyway, so... I am. War is the most he... dreadful yeah, thing, my... and to show is the innocent <laughs> and helpless who suffer the most for it. Please go home to your families. Yeah, you were saying? <laughs> Keep in mind, that if you give Dew more gold now, then he'll give all that overkill gold to Alec. Mm. Oh, yeah. I had enough. Right, so I should probably show off the bosses, because I tend to forget to do that. Because I play this game so many times, I, I just know what they're like. But I realize that some of you guys are actually watching this for the first time. So here's Clement. He's a sleep staff uh, in this game. Um, enemies don't run out of usage, so he can sleep infinitely, as long as you're within his range. Uh, just like the Silence on Deidre, you, he needs more magic than you have resistance, which would be most of your units. Um, I think they like targeting units with low resistance. Don't quote me on that, though. It might be different on Clever Mode, I'm not sure. But usually they, they target one of your units and they just, like, sleep block them. Um, but, uh, yeah, he's not particularly dangerous. If your Sigurd is strong like mine is, Sigurd, I think my Sigurd one-rounds him. 
And if he does, you can just run up and, and kill Clara. I'm not sure if we want to do that, though, because it gets rid of a lot of enemies, which could give experience. But we're going to let him sleep do or Beowulf so that um, the enemies start rushing us, which is probably the best thing to do. There are Ballistas here, uh, Myrmidons. There's some Thunder Mages, I think? No, Fire, fire. Mages. And uh, we also get this little battalion here where we're going to go for the castle. Uh, these guys... Uh, there's going to be one more mini boss spawning here. Uh, Eren, she's going to make her way down to the castle. She's going to attack it. She will take it if you're not careful. So we're going to return Levin home. Once Levin talks to her, she'll join him. Not her allies, though, if I remember correctly. Or do they become green units? Do you remember? They disappear if you recruit her, so you want to kill them. Yeah, you want to <laughs> the kill as many of her friends as possible for the experience game. They're only level 3, though. Um... And then Shagal has appeared. He's a Baron. He's a Silver Blade, and he drops a Physics. So yay, Adin, I guess. Uh, Adin can heal from the castle without moving out. <laughs> it's kind of nice, actually. It gives a crap ton of experience to stuff. So it's really good. Uh, Shagal is a big chump, though. He's not particularly threatening. I think they made him weaker. He's only level ten. Yeah, he's a little bit higher level in the next chapter. Uh, but in this chapter, he's weaker. He's actually one of the weakest bosses on here. Maybe next to Clement. There's also Ballistas here. They are annoying. And uh, you can't progress any further until you take over this castle. So yeah. Uh, also, I hate these guys. Their ballistas aren't particularly dangerous, but it's just the the fact that they can all hit you and kill you is really annoying. You can kill one of them with like a Madeir. The other guys you can't really get close to unless you recruit oh, Aaron. Yeah. Can barely reach. It, yeah. But you have to be in range of Clement to do it, so it's kind of ass. Yeah. I don't like this chapter. <laughs> um, so yeah, what we do? We'll just use Adine, I guess. And we'll just heal up Noish, and we'll let him uh, deal with some of these guys. I don't think we've arenaed with him yet. No, we haven't, because he's going to get the Paragon ban. Does that mean Quan's going to sell it in this chapter, doesn't it? I guess it would, yeah. So we're not uh, keeping You're going to have to think about who you want to have it at the start of the next chapter. Because mm. that should be the last person who buys it. Everyone else should have to have so, it. So, do we warp... No, actually, we want Asel to stay here, because uh, he's the source of healing for Ruckus and Adin. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Well, if one of them gets an HP level up, you can also heal them. You don't have to arena with the cell. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, now I don't need to arena with them. This is a good point. Murhar, he, har, 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 ho, 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 ho. There we go. And yeah, you guys insist on me not cutting this away, so I, I guess you like Did the banter. They? Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys are masochists. Yeah. They're like, don't cut What's anything. Don't cut anything out. We want to hear everything. So, all okay. right. You guys are a weird, very weird audience, but I, I guess I, I appreciate that. You're weird, but you're my audience. Less, less <laughs> editing for me. <laughs> <laughs> More episodes. Mm -hmm. Yay. I mean, it's a win-win for me. I just, you know, I want to make sure my audience is entertained, but apparently they're entertained by watching banter. So, okay. I guess certain things entertain certain people. So, yeah, it shouldn't... Like, this always intimidates me, and... If you let them come too close to the castle, it can be a bit scary sometimes. I like how Eren is not moving at her full speed. I mean, what castle are you afraid of? Them, uh, them the, taking? The, the, the green one doesn't really matter. No, I guess you're right. Alright, so... I'm can... a green castle. Yeah, so we probably want to return Levin next. Yeah, because Ethan is going to be moving out of, him, out of his range, out of, basically. Yeah, I wish I could do the talk with Sigurd, but I'm not going to. Which talk? Uh, L Sigurd has oh, a talk Levin, with yeah. Levin. I, re I also want him to... Oh, I really want to show off the talk with Sylvia, but I don't think I have the time for it. I want to see if she flashes him in this. Uh, I don't think she does. I think they took it she, out. She doesn't even flash him in the original. She just points at her tits, I think. I, I guess. I guess it's I mean, just what I, I what I wanted wishful, to be. Wishful thinking. Underage person <laughs> flashing someone. She's not? Okay. We're not going to delve into the topic of genealogy age. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, you're going down here. So, let me see. Let's check out his sleep staff range. So, we can visit this village. But, and we can visit one of these. Wait, where's the... Oh, the oh, bandits! The oh my yeah. fucking god, yes! Oh <laughs> my god, I forgot the <laughs> bandits vanish when you see these. Oh, I'm so <laughs> wah, fucking... Wah. I'm so fucking dumb. Oh, okay. Wah, wah. Yeah, this is a bit nasty. <laughs> so, uh... I don't think oh, they yeah, can... that is a thing too, yeah. I don't think they can hit you, though. What do you mean they can't hit him? I don't think... Have, like, not enough hit? A 64 hit, Dew has a 39, he'll have like 59 avoid. Their hit their hit rate will be absolute garbage. Okay, but he's gonna sleep there. No, no, <laughs> no, 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 Clement can't sleep there. See? Oh, not that one, I guess, but... 
Yeah. Can they hit that? Yeah, they can. It's this village that's scary. Yeah. We don't want to. That one's only 500 gold, so you can get it later, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's kind of well, cruel how you I wish Jab got good luck against all those Cavaliers. <laughs> I mean, he could maybe do something. We'll see. We'll Not on see. his own. Come on. <laughs> all right. Let's see if Deidre levels uh, magic again. Or hit points again. I think it's 70%. Oh yeah, Holy Blood uh, guys always have good HP growths, because I think all the Holy Bloods give HP of some kind, don't they? Uh, yeah, I think all of them, yeah. Uh, wait, did I we... Have page open. Did yeah, we, literally uh, all of them. Mm, all of them. <laughs> no, sire. <laughs> so, we warp Levin back this turn. Or maybe, actually, maybe Alec would be better. Well, they have to do Levin next turn and keep Ethan around here. Uh, keep in mind he can Which walk. Can do. He can walk. So, yeah, one, yeah. two, three, four, five, and then it's the fucking road. Um, but she can Kanto back anyway, so it's fine. Now I think I want to return uh, Alec next, cause okay, sure. Oh, all right. <laughs> I thought I, I thought I misclicked and did something else. <laughs> I thought I right. Medir. Yeah, by Medir. Ah, uh, yeah. If I keep her here, then this should be fine. There we go. And then we'll do this. Hope you guys I'm like. Kind of worried ones. about your like leaf ring gold thing. It's gonna be hard to make it work out with without losing turns. What do you mean? Well, you want to have Alec, Noish, and Quan all arena with the Paragon Ring, right? Ideally, yeah. Yeah. I mean, but how is Dew gonna get the gold to them when he's all the way over here? <sighs> or how is he gonna get the gold to Alec for mm. one? How is Be Beowulf gonna talk to Lacasis and then also arena? Beowulf, Lacasis, I'm not particularly worried about because, um, oh yeah, no, that's that's a good point. Um, <laughs> hmm. Yeah, that's uh, that is a problem. I guess I'm gonna have to send uh, Ethlyn. Over to Dew and Beowulf, then. I don't see any other choice. Really. Maybe. I think I have to. And then I can then I can return Ethlyn with it using the return band. Mm -hmm. I think that's what I'm going to have to do, actually. Uh, but I warped both of the Christmas Cavaliers back, so I'm pretty happy about that. Actually, I think there might be a lance for Alec to get. Um, yeah, there's an iron lance here. Oh, no, he has one already. It's Noish who yeah. needs it. Yeah, we should. Oh, Magic I should, ring. <laughs> I should have. Uh, I should have bought it with Noish before I kept moving. That was really dumb. Oh well, it's too late now. Too late. Very beautiful. Uh, and then we I have know. we have to arena some more with. Uh, it's kind of sad because uh, I don't think Ruckus is. Uh, <laughs> you did the swords thing again. <laughs> I did. This is. Oh my god, it's so annoying. Uh, I could try to like pull out before he gets killed. You think, it, guess, you think it'll work? If he misses, yeah. Nah. Rah, rah, rah. Yeah, because this is going to cost him some gold. Not much, but a little bit, which is a little bit annoying. Would be funny if this like ends up being what get, allows me to not buy the Paragon Ring, which isn't too far away from the what can happen, actually, because in some cases, it uh, will probably be like 100 gold off or something. Yep. And he does need the Paragon Ring for the grind strat next chapter. I do. I do. So, uh... So, uh, Arden? <laughs> well, well, he, Arden needs to arena, I think. It's, yeah, so now it's now is when we're gonna arena with him, right? Yeah, we'll just walk to your hair, I guess. I'm so paranoid that I'm gonna like miss some characters because my characters are all over the fucking place. Yep, it's so annoying. All over the big ass map, mm -hmm. big ass map, big ass map. Yeah, sometimes it like a Dutch way of pronouncing a certain vowel just sneaks in there and it's super weird. <laughs> Yeah, you have you have a way of cert saying certain words with a very wa weird ending. Um, oh, I, I was thinking about the other day. Um, there's a couple of words that you say that you end with ace, and I think that's a very Dutch accent. Oh, I'm trying to think of the word that you say. It's very noticeable in certain certain things you say. Uh, My accent is like a huge mix of like a little bit of Dutch, a little bit of American English, a little bit of British accent, British English. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, people, people are always like, I can't hear your Norwegian accent, Max. Well, thank fucking God for that, because Norwegian accent is just the ugliest thing ever. Hello, guys. I, I am going to put Levin next to this uh, right here. <laughs> so much fun, <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, so welcome to Genealogy of the Holy War. Uh, I'm going to be sending a Sigurd down here. It's going to be a lot of fun, guys. That, that No joke. This is how Norwegian... That's pretty much how I used to talk, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, I think what we do now is we warp... We send Levin home. Yeah. We don't actually need to move him, because I'm... Are we done warping every... I think everyone here can walk, right? Yeah, I guess so, but don't you want Ethan to be closer to your main, main squad? Or are you going to return Ethan after this? I'm going to send her down to Dew and Beowulf and return them to the castle. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. We have to, right? 
I guess so. I can even return Sylvia. Yeah, that would actually be good because then you can get multiple warps in. Yeah. Unless, or you can either move Sylvia out, or you can like have her focus on Idine, Lacasis, and Deirdre. <laughs> I have like a massive warping party going on. <laughs> I mean, I, I like this idea actually. Let's do this. The sooner you return Ethan, the sooner that uh, Lacasis can use to return. Yeah, yeah, but we 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 need to go and. Uh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, we want to get due. So what I could do. Because Ethelin can move pretty quickly through here. I mean, it's gonna take her a couple of turns, but if I think we definitely want to move outside of the forests. Yeah. So we want to move, like, all the way down here, and then we want to... Um, Beowulf is gonna... We can warp Beowulf down back pretty... So, what do you say we... We visit this oh. village with Dew, and then we warp with Ethelin, and then we count out a sleep range. I like that. But you want to, like, get one sleep in, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. Um... We was gonna do that. Dew or Beowulf? I don't know. But this one I know what I want to do. We yeah. can't thank you enough for helping us. This here's the sword's the best we can do. It's an unusual sword, isn't it? They call it an armor slayer. In the right hands, it'll cleave right through the thickest armor. Thick. If your hands aren't the right hands, though, maybe it can make you a quick buck at the pawn shop in town. There you uh, go. I would say his hands are the right ones. Oh, yeah, for sure. So, yeah. Wolf makes pretty good use of like, all the swords that make you better, <laughs> so basically. So I should probably point out uh, how effective weapons work in this game, because I don't think we've used any up until this point. So, effective weapons in this game, you might look at the might and go like, ew, that's like triple might, no, no, nah, that's not how it works. So, effective weapons just get, grants you an 100% crit chance. So, and crits in this game doubles might, so a crit from Beowulf it would be 48. Doubles attack. attack. Doubles attack, yeah, so it would be 48. So, crits are way better in this game, actually. Because they can actually allow you to circumvent the enemy's defense, which is really nice. So, um, here comes the question. Should we let Dew get attacked by two of these ballistas? I don't think he can... He'll get 20 avoid. Um, they'll have us... Sh yeah. <laughs> you shouldn't die, <laughs> but you might die. Maybe get the middle village first? I don't know. Oh, you mean this one? Yeah, the one that gives you the thousands. I mean, why not? We got our do something later, right? Okay, Jamka. <laughs> oh my god, this is so trolly. It's like, oh, you can go... Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, Jamka, I guess, just stand around. Jamka does not want to face these guys. No, he really doesn't. But, I mean, I guess he could. we could, like, join up with the others. There we go. That would be preferable. An archer joining up with others. I love this little road here. It's so nice. You know what is a problem, though? Your Bredir is at one health. And you're sent Ethan away. Yeah, that is a problem. I gotta be very careful with this placement now. Sigurd is also at half health. Yeah, it's not great, it is it? But Sigurd, like, he can't die. I see you're doing the Medir hole in pairing. Yeah, my favorite one. Would be very good to grace grand skill to the archers. <laughs> very good, guys. Man, I'm kind of bummed out about not giving the uh, the lands to Noish. He would have really benefited from it. Well, he's already gone. Can't load... Oh, wait. Um, I can. You should make, like, a random save here, so, so in case you fuck up something. Yeah, probably a good idea. Like, next turn. Yeah, I will. Um, okay, so what are we doing here? So, Levin. What, uh, um, we don't want to put him next... Leave him next to Sylvia. Oh, right! We can arena with him. He's not yeah. getting the Paragon Ring, so why not, right? Yeah, I agree. Yeah, let's see how far he can get. He'll clear it. You think so? I don't know, like, Eleven just always clears the arena for me, even though he shouldn't, but, like, he just always gets lucky somehow. He does have a crap ton of a void, and... Oh, there we go. Yeah, that... Kapow. That does it, basically. That kind of st that kind of shit. He does it all the time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he has a lot of skill. There we go. So, uh, Eleven, he'll, he'll, he'll level up himself most of the time, won't he? He'll reach promotion, and then he can staff spam. So he's not going to be a character that yeah. we're going to worry about. I think he gets B stabs as promotion, so he can use like anything. He is wants. there any merit to holding back a little bit on the Forsetti and the arena if you want to save cash? I or, mean, you can't sell Forsetti. Yeah. So I guess it saves Arthur some cash if he ever has to repair it. Yeah. How Arthur do, cannot use stabs, so. How does uh, the cash, like how how much cash do they drop down to their kids? Is it like half to the son, half to the daughter, or? No, I wish. He actually, it's it like divides by twenty, so. You're mm. actually better off spending your cash in Gen 1. Yeah. To do whatever he wants. It's not something you should, like, better. plan around, right? No. What you can... What you're better off... Like, if you have a lot of cash in Gen 1, you, you want to buy do is buy expensive items. Mm. So the kids can sell them. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's nice, actually. And repair your weapons and stuff. I think this might be one of the first... I think Levin... No, yeah, he's faster than this guy. 
But yeah, as you can see, this is... He doesn't double though. He uh, doesn't. So he oh wow. But you can just keep trying until he like, gets out of critical or something. Haha! <laughs> or that. Or just be Manx. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like being Manx too. I can't even be that way, you get lucky with Levin because I get the same and <laughs> he always wins eventually. Speed! Yeah, Levin's gonna level speed a lot. Mm -hmm. I didn't give him considering pursuit, all though. your other stat users hmm? are gonna level up a lot. Yeah. And uh, probably gonna cap. Levin can take over the stats after he promotes. Oh, yeah. For pretty much free. Like, he's gonna spend a lot of time just chilling with Tiltu because that pairing takes a so while. Well. He does, doesn't it? Oh. <laughs> he's gonna lose to an Armor Knight with Levin. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. But hey, I can just heal him and send him back in. I need to heal someone yeah. this turn anyway, so why not make yeah. it Lewin? So let's uh, do ID, I guess. No, no, Lewin needs to do tilt you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that, that isn't that actually one of the trickiest Gen One pairings because uh, tilt you joins so late and they don't have any boosts. Well, tilt you has a higher base than anyone else besides Bridget because she joins so late. Like mm -hmm. tilt you and Bridget have more love points at base with everyone else because they join so late. So. It's not as tricky as it seems. It doesn't take as long as like Lex Ira, for example. Yeah. But it does take a while. They don't have like any kind of boosts, you right? But Health suck. You, you have to dedicate off? to like putting them next to each other. You can make a jelly formation too. God fuck. Nice one. <laughs> yeah. I think this is F7. Do, okay, so Mecha, how about we actually do jealousy in this LP? Like I, 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 I've never done it before. Do you, do you know enough about it to set it up? Uh, I can. Uh... I, I I can find knowledge on it. Let me yeah, would it you down. be able to like set up a, a, a jealousy strat with Levin until you? I I yeah. just want to pull it off. It would be really cool. I've never yeah, used jealousy before. Uh, don't worry. I I know it's gonna happen. I can make it happen. Then I could like call it like jealousy mode or something. Yeah, I've been like, talking to that guy I told you about before. I mean, like, whenever I like slightly hint at one to do something, he like figures stuff out for me. So. Yeah. I think. Oh, come the fuck on! I mean, this time he was gonna die in one hit anyway. Because he didn't heal enough. Do we just do the spam? Yeah, just do the spam. You don't want to spend money. Just get out of <laughs> there. There you go. There go. I think I know who you're talking about. I've been getting a lot of messages yeah. from a guy who says that he's your order conquester or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's like, I'm a friend of Mecca. Yeah, he wanted to. Do, he wanted to join for the FE4 run. I was like, no, I'm not doing free. I'm not doing true calls. No, that's like, no. I'll, I'll maybe do it with Ray every now and then because Ray melts with everyone. But having two co-hosts is a nightmare usually. Third wheel is a thing. Yeah. Maybe it's called fifth wheel. I don't know. It works with Ray because Ray is very good at not talking over people. But even then, we kind of get so sort of hard sometimes. I talk over you all the time. Yeah, but when it's just you and me, it's, it's not that difficult. Besides, uh, there is something to be said about having different pitched voices. I have a lighter voice than you, so even yeah. when we speak at the same time, you can hear you can tell us apart pretty easily. Yeah. If there's two dark voices, it becomes a nightmare. Or, or if there's two bright voices, it becomes a nightmare. Because they meld into each other. Chimus. Okay, let's see how this goes. Yeah, I hate those, like... I hate it when, like, two YouTubers are in a video together and I can't tell which is which. Yeah, yeah. Also, or, like, when in, in, like, The Departed, like, the two main characters really look like each other and I could never tell them apart. <laughs> and apparently I was the only one with this problem, but I'd never heard of anyone that before. I was like, I have no idea who is Leonardo DiCaprio and who's the other guy. <laughs> Even though, like, one of them was infiltrating the bad guys, and the other one was infiltrating the Six good guys. <laughs> yeah. No, I agree. Almost. Well, yeah, you're right, Mecha. He did clear the whole fucking arena. Well, uh, what do we do? Just genie. play some guard duty? <laughs> yeah, why not? Why not? Like... Guard the castle. Yeah. Guard the castle. Uh, yeah, I guess no. Uh, I'll keep warp. a cell here. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna warp. Oh, there we go. We gotta repair warp. it again. Oh, warp, no. Warp, careful, warp. careful. <laughs> Huh? Huh? All <laughs> oh, right. I thought someone was blocking. Yeah, that. I was afraid for a moment that him being on guard duty somehow blocked the warp. That would be kind of interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. I think this is level twenty for Deirdre. Yeah, she can't promote though. Oh, do you uh, see that bug? <laughs> do you see the bug? Yeah, out the graphic fuck up. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Book of whole city fuck up. Yeah. Please fix. Please fix. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think you can wait in the castle, can you? Mm, I don't think so. You cannot. You can't wait in the castle, but you can't wait in the castle, if you oh, know what I mean. So slow. There you go. Okay. Let's go. So probably... I think I played for the most part, aside from taking one extra turn with the castle, and then taking one extra turn with Macbeth. I think I played this map as quickly as I could have played it. Roughly. Because I moved Sigurd pretty much max move every single turn. 
Well, you mean like this segment, right? Because you, you took an extra turn or two in that. Uh, well. uh, yeah, I, I already said that. Yeah, it took one one or two extra turns a turn. I've taken like one or two extra turns at each castle. So, okay, that's pretty far fucking away from perfect speed, but... Yeah, but speaking of perfect speed, look at how Fury and friends move like five spaces through the mountains. <laughs> yeah, they, they clearly turn. didn't get the LTC memo. Make your, make your backup save now. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we'll do the save and uh, we'll... Oh no, endgame the whole... Oh no! Uh, no, my save. What are you doing? <laughs> See, I actually had Mecha send me his form because I want a clever mode. Um, I mean, my totally digit copy of the game. Mm, yeah, yeah, of course. I uh, build it. So, yeah, we want to go visit here now, right? Yeah. Lord Elegant is a sincere and righteous man, but alas, his sincerity has never been welcome to the ears of King Chagall. That's gotta be why he was locked up. Please, for the good of all Augustria, help Lord Eldigan. Yeah, he's also a fucking help. idiot. <laughs> Ooh, help. There you go, and then we'll send uh, Beowulf back to talk to Rakasis. Okay, so... Uh, do we want Quan to deal with one of these guys? I guess so, but it means you're fighting them all next turn. Shouldn't I, I though? ready for that. Don't yeah, they, that's fine. Don't they move maximum range anyway? Um, They will try to stick with uh, the guy in front. Like, if you're not, if no one is in range, they won't move full move, I think. Right, right. Like, like, look at look at the Fury Squad for an example of that. Yeah, yeah, they're sort of like in slow mode, which is kind of weird. But it yeah, seems so like got... it seems like sometimes squads move even slower than they should, and then they have like a slightly sped up formation move or something. I'm not sure. It's really weird. Yeah. I don't think there's difference <laughs> between squads. But yeah, nice. <laughs> I love that movement, like into the corner, like Manx optimizing movements right up there. Okay, so that uh -huh. means Jamka will not be able to get out of range next chapter, next turn. Oh yeah. That's a problem, isn't it? I mean, we got Finn, we got Quan. Uh, okay, so Pawn kills like one. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Finn kills one, and that's a wasted kill. And it then Jamka kills one, and there's like three guys. Alright, let's move back with Quan coming. Yay. I uh, love moving backwards in FE4. I mean, this this is backtrack the chapter. Yeah. Oh, you got Alec. I think Noish might be able to reach. Oh, yeah. I don't know if he can. Yeah. Yeah. He can reach next turn. Maybe even Alec. Maybe, maybe. Okay, so uh, I'm actually sort of curious. I should have. Oh, I should have bought the thief sword with Alec. Oh, that could have been. Let's okay, just but sell the thief that sword right. Would have been really inaccurate. Yeah, yeah, but if there's a chance we could steal some money, that would be a, that would maybe mean more paragon for Alec, right? And it's sure. not like it's not like Rockus needs it, right? No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, have we arenaed with her? We have not. We should do that. No. Oh, Sylvia's in the yes. castle. <laughs> yeah, you should actually arena before you do like, do any healing or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's uh, heal the heal the broken staff. <laughs> heal the warp staff. <laughs> there we go. I assume oh. she's gonna. Be, I assume she's gonna warp with it a little bit more. Yeah. Maybe even an old capper. That would be nice. That would be very nice. Then we don't have to worry about her at all in the next chapter. I mean, she's castle what? locked in the next chapter, but oh no, Deirdre castle. Did you arena with uh, Sylvia yet? I did not. Let's do it. Uh, maybe, fun. yeah, she doesn't need the Miracle Sword, because she already has Miracle. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm probably gonna speed this one. <laughs> this one is a guaranteed win. Yep, but it takes a long time. <laughs> yep, there we go. So yeah. <laughs> is it a guaranteed win? Yeah, because even if he hits her, she just gets like 80% Miracle. Oh, right. Alright, yeah. There we go. Tickled to death.